The Goshen College women's soccer team is all in for representing the community and in a home match the Maple Leafs recognized the Goshen Police and Fire Department. Senior Megan Bauer played a huge role in the first responders match at home. Okay, well it basically started with uh, Harold Watson, the athletic director. He really wants to have a push for community engagement this year. And so with that, we kind of sat down as captains and thought, you know, let's plan out some events we can do and get the community involved. And um, when I heard about the first responders once, that, that one just kind of, I was the most interested in that because I just thought it'd be a cool event to plan. Um, I think, you know, the work they do sometimes goes unnoticed um, and I think it's important to kind of recognize and honor the sacrifices that they make and just kind of celebrate that um, with the community. So um, we started planning these events before the summer back in April and then in the August, basically when I got back from preseason, I kind of started with the first responders game to try and get ahead of it. Both Bauer and head coach Justin Crew goes into detail why giving back to the first responders organization was important. Uh, you know, I think it's just just something that they do so much for our community. You know, the the police and the firefighters, um, and the EMTs and the ambulance people and those things. So, um, just decided to do something to try to celebrate them and thank them for all they do for us in the community. Yeah, we thought it'd be really cool if we had half the team wor warming up in the fire department shirts, they were the red ones, and then the other half in the police department, which were the navy ones. And we actually spoke to Amanda Heckerman, who's a player on the team. Her mum works for like a shirt designing company, and so we worked with her to get the shirts made. And they just had, it was important to have like the Goshen Fire Department's logo and the Goshen Police Department's logo, rather than just a, a generic one. So we just thought that'd be really cool to warm up in those. Um, and yeah, I think it looked good at the event, but it was a lot of colorful and bright colors, so. The Maple Leafs not only hosted a charity match for the first responders, but also secured a victory over Clarity University, winning two to one. Oh man, it was fantastic. You know, it was a good win for us. Clarity's a solid team. Um, so yeah, it felt great. You know, it's always good, like I said, on a special event night like that, and big home crowd and get a good win, so it felt really good. Yeah, overall, I came away really happy with it. I think warming up, you know, seeing the event going on, we were all in great spirits, you know, you could tell it was an exciting game. And then, you know, seeing how many students came out, community members, it really helps when we have that kind of support. And I think it just gives everybody a really good feeling. And then in terms of the game, you know, 2-1 against Cleary, they're a very physical side. Um, and so, you know, them getting the equaliser, we knew we were like, we can't lose to this team, like, let's go. So I think even the games in the past that we've won, we've kind of come away not feeling too great. We were like, oh, performance wasn't at its best. But I think yesterday we're st starting to see it all coming together. And so I think, you know, we're, we're really happy with the win. Never satisfied, you know, we always want to take it to that next level. But overall, I think we came off the field feeling really good with the win. Two really nice goals. Uh, Emmy's first goal for Goshen and then B is like, I think that's the second goal, but very nicely done. So yeah, I came away overall with the event, really happy with the win and, and the event as a whole. So overall, it was a success. The First Responders charity event will not be the last of the season as Coach Crew has more dates in mind. No, so we've got a few more. Uh, we're going to do Pediatric Cancer Awareness Night on the 21st. And then we're going to do Breast Cancer Awareness Night. And then we're going to do like a local GUI, so with the, with the local um, Goshen Youth Soccer organization too. So a few more coming up. Yeah, just again, a big thank you to all the students and community that came out. You know, it does make a huge difference. Um, we hope to see you at more of the games. Like I say, in two weeks, it's the pediatric game. It's the go for gold. There'll be more fun events with that. You know, bring as many gold items as you can. We'll see face paint. We'll have banners out. I think there'll be like a halftime competition again. So, yeah, just, you know, keep bringing that support and because we love it. So thank you very much. For Globe Sports, I'm Benjamin Cotton.